consistent on YouTube and I'm so sorry I've just been so busy with work and like my nine to five it really has been like overworking me and like that's been taking into like all of the free time that I usually like spent whenever I was like creating content so now I'm trying to just like rework my schedule but I think I figured out a good balance so at least I'm gonna try to come back consistently I'm starting off this video strong first of all if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch another youtube video of mine you guys support honestly means the world to me and i hope you enjoy this video if you are a new subscriber welcome to my youtube channel i am lena i create lifestyle fashion beauty and travel content so if that sounds like your cup of tea i'm definitely the girly for you we're gonna do something super fun in today's video i'm getting ready to go out but i wanted to film something real quick i have this really cute like corset flowy dress on which i think is like so perfect but i ordered a few stuff for the sephora savings event now i'm not one who comes what's it called encourages over consumption and i feel like the sephora event, savings event is like almost like a cult the cult activity where it's like every sale you just get the urge to want to shop and like stock up on things i know that definitely happens to me and i've been trying to like really quit it out because i used to just like buy lots and lots of makeup and it would just like sit in my makeup box because i don't even wear makeup every day so now with most of the items that i choose to buy i'm very particular about them a lot of the items in this bag are restock items and i really love them so i'm gonna take you guys through all of the items that i um that i bought for this sale and i'm gonna take you guys through the new items that i'm gonna be trying out so i didn't know they do same day delivery so this just makes it so much better because you can just order all of the items and they get delivered straight to your door if you are a rouge member so i picked up quite a bunch of items and i'm super super excited to show you guys um but first up i decided to pick up the Dharma Logica pre-cleanse. I love this pre-cleanse. You guys have seen me use this in most of my skincare videos, I'm sure. I have very sensitive skin and this is a good oil-based cleanser that does the job of like cleansing out those impurities. It also removes makeup, but I don't use this when I have makeup on. I actually love to use my pharmacy green clean makeup melting balm when i'm wearing makeup so this is just my oil cleanser on days where i'm not wearing makeup so this typically is my first cleanse i also picked up some new shower oil products i've been hearing some really good things about this brand Alice of paradise body this is their glycolic um body their glycolic but their body scrub i don't know why i froze and this is their body this is their glycolic acid body scrub i love the bottle too i feel like this is the one thing that sold me on this product is the bottle because it's gonna be so easy to like use in the shower and it's not gonna mess up the place i feel like with most jars i just find that like either water gets into the product when you're like exfoliating your body or like i don't know Think bad things just happen, that's what I come to realize. Anyways, the second, I also got the vitamin C. Same thing, this is their vitamin C version. I love like body care products, so you're gonna notice that the majority of the items in today's haul is body care. I picked up the Topicals Retinol Body Serum. I have actually been using this a lot, so this is a restock item for me. It's the Retinol Body Serum, which is good if you have like textured skin and you're trying to clear things out. Clear out your hyperpigmentation. I definitely recommend this product. I picked up the Skin Fix. I picked up the Skin Fix Glycolic Acid Glycolic Body Renewing Scrub. This has glycolic acid and glycolic acid is meant to brighten the skin. So this is just another scrub. And I love these applicator bottles. Like, 
like I feel like this is just gonna be so easy to use in the shower. I hate the jars, like I mentioned before, like like the Dove like jars. I just hate that application so much. Still on topicals, I got the topicals favorite serum. I have low-key been breaking out. The camera probably doesn't show that, but I always get left with a lot of hyperpigmentation and I've been hearing some really good things about this topical faded serum, so I'm hoping to use it on my hyperpigmentation areas and see if it's actually going to work towards fixing it. And we are going strong, we're still on topical. This eye cream has, sorry, these Brighton Clearing Eye Mask have been a cult favorite ever since they did their brand trip to Ghana. Like I saw all of the influencers like wearing this. I've seen these everywhere and I've never tried them. I don't really use eye masks like that, but a lot of people swear by these. So I decided to pick it up. Super excited to try it out. So these are all like skincare items. I also picked up the Believe Moisturizer. So sorry, the Believe Sunscreen. This is the Aqua Bomb sunscreen. If you're looking for a good sunscreen that works for black girls, this I think is a really good sunscreen. And I have the moisturizer. So when you pair it up, sorry. And I have the moisturizer. So when you pair up the moisturizer and the sunscreen, I think it does a really good job. And this was a restock item for me. Because I already have their sunscreen actually. I'm trying to look for my first bottle. Anyways, I have their sunscreen. I love the brand Believe. I think they make like really good products. Oh yeah, this is the second bottle. Okay, so this is a restock item for me. I'm almost running out of this. I love the sunscreen. They also apply really well. Makeup applies really well on top of it. So I definitely recommend. I picked up some Hourglass products. I have been seeing this concealer all over the place and normally I don't fall for like makeup trends or like makeup cult products but this hourglass concealer I've just seen like too many people and their mothers mothers use this so I was like very curious I'm probably gonna have to film a separate video where I do my makeup and like some skincare with all of these new products I got but I got this shade Flax, which is their shade in number eight. I also picked up their foundation brush. I got their concealer brush. So I probably showed you guys this product already, but I got the Fenty Beauty Cookies and Clean Mask, the mint edition. This is a limited edition and it's supposed to have like a cooling effect. It's supposed to leave a cooling effect on your face when you wash it off, like almost the same thing as like putting your face in an ice bath, so I'm super excited to try it out. Y'all are probably not surprised by this, the L'Occitane Shower Oil. <laughs> I got another one. I, know I actually picked up a bunch of these because I just like to stock up on them because I do go through these pretty quickly. I have this one and I have the other one too. I also picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush powder this powder is like my go-to i kid you not like i have restock on this i've been a loyal customer of the charlotte tilbury powders for years now i promise you that these powders are a game changer for my makeup routine and you use them all over your face i don't even use setting powders anymore i honestly just use these powders so this is the shade number three and i use two shades in charlotte tilbury i use the shades number two and number three so the way i use these powders i'm oh, sorry just one sec my makeup bag is open i'm gonna show you guys how much i use this product i'd be restocking on this product there's no tomorrow this is probably my fourth this is the shade number three okay, i'm gonna just put this back in as you can see this product is my go-to for makeup i have two shades like this is even almost empty this is the shade number two i just use this immediately after you place apply your concealer if you take a powder puff and you dab it on your concealer it leaves the most airbrush finish like it's not like as opposed to taking like a loose powder and putting it on your concealer immediately it's better to go in with a pressed powder and like dab with a powder puff i'll show you guys in a tutorial probably but i'm sure you guys already know this technique but i love this product like oh my goodness it's so pretty i also picked up the new anastasia Beverly hills lipsticks i am not a lipstick person 
I need like any black girl friendly lipsticks that you guys have or recommend please let me know because I want to be that girl who has like really cute like lipstick combos if that makes sense like I feel like my lipsticks always give the same thing and I just wear them with brown lip liner but these are the new ABH lip velvet lipsticks that launched in February so I picked these up I picked up the shades crush and I picked up the shade kiss I've done it when I feel like when I was looking online they kind of all look like the same thing because even when I open these two shades and I'm just gonna show you guys like next next to each other see it kind of looks the same like you can never tell there's a difference this is a slightly more pink and this is more I don't know the word is pink, but yeah I picked up these and I am super excited. I'm actually wearing one of them. I did my makeup earlier with it. Okay, let's go through the rest of these products. And I got the Patrick Ta. She is on vacation. Miss Uche Naturi smell, swears by this product. Her body is always glistening and glowy and she says she uses this particular product every single day and she just puts it on like her chest area and like any parts of her body that is exposed and actually i'm excited to try it because i've seen other makeup influencers talk about it too i literally cannot wait i kind of low-key tried it earlier <laughs> believe it or not i didn't wait this was the product i was most excited to pick up this sale so i'm lucky i don't know i'm like I guess I can try it out real quick and just show you guys what it looks like. It is actually okay. There's just too much going on and I cannot find my brush. But anyways, it's okay. But yeah, I'm super excited to try this out. Literally cannot wait. Yeah, I'm gonna need to clear up this background because it's just my counter is just a little bit all over the place, all over the place. These are all of the products. Sorry, I also picked these up and I already used these. So I kinda I wanted to try them out today. So I can't, what's it called? These are the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. The Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch. I actually tried them out already, so that's why they kind of look dirty. But yeah guys, that is it for my Sephora haul. I have another package coming tomorrow, I believe. Because I'd already ordered a few stuff online. So I was just like well, why not? So I'm gonna just like take you guys through the rest of the items that I buy. I'm super excited, obviously, to try this out and I'll let you guys know. I don't know why I can just always try it. Hey guys, that is it for today's vlog. Um, it's very simple, very straight to the point. I'm just keeping this like Sephora haul. I'm gonna go out later. I'm sorry, so I have some content I need to film later for a collaboration. I'm super excited. So you guys are going to see me post this outfit and I'll show you guys in a different vlog what I'm doing with it. And anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my Sephora sale haul. I hope you enjoy it. I have another package coming tomorrow, so I'm super excited. And yeah, I literally cannot wait to... And yeah, let me know if you guys have ever tried any of these items that I'm showing on the screen. Let me know what your fan favorite items are, what your cult favorite items are. I am super excited to try all of these out. So yeah, let's get into it. Bye! So yeah, let's get into it and do a little haul. So starting off strong, I decided a lot of these items are restock items. You can bank on it. You can put a hundred grand on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Lele, oh, then they call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on a bang on him Lele, oh, lele, oh, yeah Tobalo, go macho, yeah Tobalo, macho Nobody know tomorrow Choro ka choro And if a boy feel macho Make him look red like a tomato If him not dead then he call matos No ko fambo
vlog. It is currently 5.30 p.m. Monday to be exact. I am already in my gym clothes because I'm getting ready to hit the gym after this. You know, like I'm on my little like fitness journey, so I'm really trying to be consistent. But I just got something in the mail and I'm super excited to show you guys my Sephora order. Finally came in and I was thinking we can do like a little like Sephora haul unboxing type of vibes to show you guys all the products that I got. I got quite a bit of items this year. Honestly, whenever the Sephora sale comes up, I just use it as an opportunity to stock up personally. So I'm always like shopping. The good thing I would say is that I stopped buying a lot of makeup items. So now everything that I've been super, everything that I've been into lately has been mostly skincare or body care. So that's where I spend all my coin. Like skincare and body care is like my go-to. By the way, I've been meaning to film a updated shower routine. I got some new products from the Sephora sale and I literally cannot wait to start implementing them into my shower slash skincare routine. So let's just get into this little haul that I have going on right now. Was the Lanier toner. I have spoken about this before. I've had this, I've been using this toner since 2019, and I guess um, I waited till the sale to get it because I ran out of it last month, I believe in September. So I just like, okay, since the sale is coming up, I'm just gonna like restock this. But this honestly feels like milk against your skin, the best feeling ever. Like, it is the most hydrating and gentle toner you could ever use. I can't even know. Like, I believe it has. Like, an outward. I don't know why my camera is having such a hard time focusing in. But yeah, so this is what it's called. Yeah. So this is the most gentle cleanse. This is the most gentle toner ever. Toning is just a must for me. I need something that's gonna like calm down my skin and just bring down the pH level, especially after you've used all those harsh cleansers and exfoliators on your face. Toning is just a good way to just set everything. I want to be looking like Naomi Campbell when I'm in my fifties. Or even Gabrielle Union. Okay, okay, so next product on the list is another toner. So this is from the brand Belief. So y'all, as you can tell, I love my toning. I feel like toning is just like very important in your skincare routine. But yeah, this is another formula, like a milk formula. I feel like I've heard a lot of good things about this specific formula. I don't know why it's just, I think it's my extra light. I'm waiting for it to zoom in. Is it really not gonna zoom in? Y'all, I don't know what is happening to my camera. Anyways, this is the Believe Moisturizing Balm Toner. I'm gonna like leave it. I guess I can write it on the screen, but I think it's supposed to be very similar to the Lanier Toner. So it's a milky texture toner for dry skin. Moisturizing Balm Toner, it improves skin's moisture levels in arid dry conditions and it provides a comforting layer of moisture. So this would be perfect for like everyday use. And for my toners, um, I mentioned this before in one of my other videos, but I hate to use toners that have any like exfoliating ingredients in them, um, like an AHA or a BHA. I feel like I already get a lot of active ingredients with all of the other products that I use. So I try not to use too much. I try to like keep most of my products, hydration products if I can. My right, next product is another mask. So this is like very skincare focused as you can tell. But this is the Cold Plunge Mask, Cold Plunge Mask from the brand Olehan Risky. I don't know if I said them right. I never know how to pronounce this brand. But I have been a loyal customer for this particular mask since I believe 2017. Honestly, this is like my favorite mask. I can, you know, like, and that's why I'm super excited to try the Fenty, the Fenty Cookies and Clean Mask in the Mint Chocolate Chip Edition because I feel like it's very, it has very similar qualities to this mask. So with this Olay and the Risky Mask, it is made with um, Snow Lotus Extract and Clay, and it also has like a cold plunge effect. So that's why it's called the Cold Plunge Mask because it's gonna leave your skin feeling like when, when you wash it off guys i do not know what is wrong with my camera i'm not sure what's wrong with my camera but honestly i give up but when you wash off this mask it's gonna leave your face feeling it's gonna leave like an instant cooling effect same as like i said before like it should feel like you just like jumped out of an ice bath so that's why i love this mask because when i leave it on my skin for like 15 minutes and i wash it off it just feels like so cold and it's almost like having like a cold towel against your face. I just love the feeling. Oh my goodness, I love the feeling. Okay, so next product is from The Ordinary. The Ordinary is 
my go-to brand for affordable skincare, but I only use specific stuff though. <clears throat> so I got their glycolic acid toning solution, and I believe that this product is very harsh on your face, but I don't use this product for my face. I use this on my skin. Um, I use it to help clear up strawberry legs and hyperpigmentation on my underarms and my bikini area and even on my legs. I just put this in a spray bottle so once I get out of the shower, I put this in a spray bottle. I actually run out, that's why I haven't replaced it in a while. I put this in a spray bottle and I just like spray it all over my body before going in with any like serums and stuff like that. So yeah, I picked up another one of these during a sale, although I believe the Ordinary isn't on sale. So far, so I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, so now we're back to <laughs> y'all are gonna see I picked up this shower oil. Honestly, I picked up like like what's it called? Three of each. So with this, look, I have like multiple of these shower oils because I was just like, but the sale is wrong, let me stock up. I do use these every single day and I love them. So just yes, you know, and even with the honey treatment, I picked up like three of these honey treatment products because like again, these are just products that I'm going to be using every single day so like I don't mind buying in bulk because I'm going to get through it and if I can help me, I can save a little bit of coin on it, why not, you know Okay, next product is... Okay, so I picked up the Dermalogica Retinol Serum I've spoken about this before on my channel I got this a few, a few vlogs ago and I've been loving the red the I've been loving this version of the retinol serum. I think that's just what I was trying to say. I noticed like my skin looks clearer and stuff like that. So I think it's definitely working. So I picked up the Dermalogica retinol. And while we're on Dermalogica, I oh yeah, from the ordinary again I also got the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I don't know why this is not that Guys, I'm not sure what's wrong with my camera, but I got their Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's super affordable, so I'm just like, yeah, I use, I use their Hyaluronic Acid and Niacin in my serum a lot, so I'm always like stocking up on those. Oh, and I also picked up the Caudalie Vinyl Perfect Radiant Serum. So this is an alternate version of vitamin C, so I have been loving using this particular serum during the day. I think it does a good job of just like brightening my skin and I alternate between this and the Dermalogica vitamin C for my brightening serums during the day so I love that so I decided to stock up on it since the sale was around and I got 20% off again. Now onto makeup. I picked up the Danasa Merrick's Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. I have heard super good things about this and honestly I tried it in store but I, I have wanted to buy this. I don't want to like open it now because like I'm very particular about my packaging. I don't know if anyone else is like that. But I have tried this particular product in the store and I feel like you don't even need foundation if you're wearing this. Like I've tried a bunch of skin tints. Prior to this skin tint, I was super obsessed with the Laura Mercier skin tint. And I also tried the Fenty skin tint. And I, you know what? I've tried a lot of skin tints. And I feel like this, this is the best out of all of them. Like, even from the consistency that I could get in the store, you know, like I could see I could see the formula and I could see the formula working very well with other skincare products and I've also seen reviews on this online and everybody seems to love it so I decided to get two shades. I wasn't sure which one was my shade, especially when I went to the store to try it out. I feel like both shades work for me. I'm in the shade 12 and 13. I just think that 13 will probably be in my summer shade from when I tan and 12 will be my winter shade since there's barely no sun. So I'm gonna see and like I will definitely post a makeup routine using just these and no foundation. Now let you guys know how it holds up, but I'm super excited because I love Vanessa Myricks. I have a bunch of her products. I have her contour, I have a bunch of her other complexion products too that I use on the regular and I love how they hold up all day. So like I'm not I don't have any doubt that that skin tint is not gonna work. And it has a pretty decent amount of coverage too. Like honestly, I don't want to struggle with skin tint. For me it's giving like this very light foundation. Okay, next makeup product I got is the OS. I have been loving this brand OS. I got their setting spray, you know the one that Beyonce wore for her concert in Maryland and like I'm sort of waiting makeup was still intact. So I have the setting spray version of this primer. So this is the Secure the Sweat Dry to Dawn primer. So it is a modifying primer and 
I have never, I mean, the primers I've been using before, I've spoken about them before. I use the Fenty Mac Primer, the Too Faced um, Hangover Primer, and the Huda Beauty Gel Primer, Jelly Primer, I don't know what it's called. I mix all of those together to get like my perfect priming solution for my face that's making my makeup on the whole day. I'm using three different primers is a lot, and I've been doing that for like the past year. So I want to see if this primer can achieve the same result that those other three primers achieve by itself. Because I've been hearing a lot of people rave about this specific product, so I was like, okay, the primer is definitely something that I'm gonna need. I try not to buy a lot of like complexion products like foundations and concealers because I don't wear makeup as often. I mean, I wear makeup a lot, yes, but only when I'm going out. In the day to day, I don't really wear makeup. So uh, that's why I don't have to stop myself from buying products. But anyways, I also got some, speaking of which, I got some new concealers, the Pop McGrath Sublime Fetish Concealers. My sister, Eileen, is obsessed with these concealers. And she low-key put me on the Pat McGrath foundation. So I use the Pat McGrath foundation now, and that is my go-to foundation. Like, that is my favorite foundation. I always grab it. I literally might even have to get another bottle because I'm actually almost out. So my sister has been using these concealers, and she's been trying to get me on them for a while now, but I've just, like... I don't know, it's just like, I don't really need another concealer if I'm being completely honest. But with the sale around, I was like, okay, this is a perfect opportunity to try these concealers. So I picked up two shades. Guys, I shop online and I'm able to match myself online. Like, I literally just watch other, like, influencers who are, like, makeup gurus who have, like, similar, the similar undertone as me and, like, they wear, like, similar shades. I have golden yellow undertones. So whenever I'm shopping for products, I would always just go for the medium deep golden undertone shade or the medium deep yellow undertone shade. So I got two shades in this. I got the MD23, which would be my regular concealer shade, where I would use that all over my face. And I got the M, and I got the M20, which would be like my under eye concealer shade, which is like the really bright one, which should brighten up your eyes. So I'm really excited to try this out, and I'll let you guys know how I like it. And I also picked up the Patrick TA. He has, I've seen people post about this, but he has a nose contour brush. I need to up my brush collection. I used to have like a stellar brush collection before, but I don't know if I like lost the items. Guys, I'm having a hard time like opening these up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you like why I bought this brush. If you can see, I'm so confused. Is this the wrong brush? Sculpting brush. It's supposed to be like a, I don't know why it looks different, but this is like a nose contour brush and I think oh yeah for contour okay I guess that's right and then when I saw it on the picture it looks like it's supposed to have like y'all I don't know what I'm trying to explain because like what I saw in the picture was so different like I should be able to take this brush dip it in my contour and just like go across my nose like this and it gives me like a perfect nose contour but it doesn't look like what I, I don't know it doesn't look like what I saw online so I will let you guys know how I like this specific brush and I also picked up some concealer brushes. I picked up the Hourglass Concealer Brush. This has like a very tapered end, and I've seen a lot of people like use this for their makeup. And with the applied concealer with a brush, I think it has like a more seamless finish, so I was definitely in the market for something else. And I also picked up the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. So this too, I've heard, is a pretty good brush, so I'm excited to try these out. Okay guys, yeah, that is my Sephora haul. Um, it looks like we got through all of the products that I got. I have another package coming, believe it or not. Don't judge me, please. I just love skincare and beauty so much. But I have another package coming next week, so I'm gonna definitely post it in next week's vlog and show you guys what I got. More body care products for sure. I think the next package is focused mostly on body care. I've been dying to try a few brands. Just different things, so I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. But yeah, it is Monday, and I am gonna clean up here, and I'm gonna head to the gym. So I will probably take you guys through a workout day with me. And you guys, I also forgot to show you. I have another PR package from Buy and Sell. I know I've been opening these before, but they sent me their newest. Um, is this myself? I don't know. I've never actually tried this before but we are thrilled oh yeah this is a message sorry it's kind of twisted but yeah so basically there's to share with you the newest statement fragrance from myself beauty myself eau de parfum 
is a refillable fragrance that is both utterly approachable and strikingly original. A powerful scent characterized by the notes of sparkling bergamot, intense orange blossoms, sage, and sensual woods. The first ever woody floral fragrance, the fragrance of modern masculinity, a statement to embrace who you truly are. Well, but yeah, this is supposed to be a woody floral fragrance and I am super excited because I love woody fragrances. I love floral fragrances too. I feel like they smell pretty nice on my body. I don't know, like the my body formula does really well with floral fragrances, but I feel like I just prefer woody fragrances. Those are like my go-to. So yeah, I am super excited to try out this perfume from YSL Beauty. Thank you so much to YSL Beauty. They've been sending a lot of PR lately. Oh, and I also sent me a bunch of makeup. Let me just go grab that real quick and I will be right back. Yeah, I'm super excited to have a new perfume to add to my collection. Yeah, these are the other items they sent to me. They sent me their mascara and two lipstick shades from their... What is this? Rouge Volte Shine Oil and Stick. And I think it's like a lip gloss. So let me just try those out real quick. It's a lipstick and lip gloss too. Can I show you guys what it looks like? This is like a pink shade. I don't know, I'm not really a pink lip gloss lipstick type of person, but let's try it on. Let's see. I guess it can be used for like every day because it doesn't really show up like that on me. Like, it almost looks like my lips are natural. Oh, yeah, it looks like my li natural lip color. And they also sent another shade. Ugh, my camera is about to die, y'all. I need to switch out the battery. Let me switch out the battery and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. So, yeah, I was saying they sent me two other newest lipsticks. I don't know, so they sent me the shade 44, which is the new Lavalier, and the shade... 162 which is pulsing rose hip i think i'm wearing this shade pulsing rose hip it looks like it's just like an oil and stick lipstick so it's like a ready to ready to care shine lip color so it's giving me the same vibes as like a lip gloss almost but just like in the form of a lipstick so this is the shade that i'm wearing i'm gonna try it out real quick again just to see if it shows up more intensely. See, I don't even think I need to ever wear this with liner. I'm also gonna swatch it against my hand just to show you guys what it looks like. And as you guys can see, it's literally like barely showing up. But it does have like a pink rosy undertone to it. And I'm gonna take this off and try on the next shade, which is their new shade. This way. But yeah, as you can see, it's like a pink like lip. They have pretty pink lips, so I don't know if my lip color is just affecting it. So this is our nude shade. I'm just gonna show you guys like what it looks like. I need to move my light because it's kind of annoying. So you press up like this, and this is what the lipstick looks like. So I'm just gonna swatch it against my hand. Okay, all these swatches are so hard. Okay, this is like a lighter pink. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, this is like a lighter pink. Okay, I took out the light. This is what it looks like. Yeah, so I would gravitate more towards this one, the first one that I wore, because it looks more natural. But let us try this out together. I mean, honestly, I don't hate it. I do think, you know, I think I wouldn't, I would not be able to wear this one without the liner. Like my lipstick. I mean, I don't know. Like it's like borderline. Like you know that like look that black girls have when like a new lipstick doesn't fit them. This is giving me that. So this is cute with a liner, but I feel like on its own, I would not wear it on its own. And this was the shade. Oh, child. Y'all, I literally almost had a heart attack. This was the shade 44, the nude La Valier. So yeah, I would not wear this shade without the liner. But I am, however, going to wear the first shade because I thought that was a really pretty shade. Like it honestly was giving me the same color as my lips. And this is like a moisturizing lipstick without a shine. I'm gonna stand up for it. Yeah, this is not bad. I don't mind this. But yeah, I mean, I love my Laniere lip mask. I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna put my Laniere lip mask. Ew! My hands hurt. Okay, I'm gonna put my Laniere lip sleeping mask back on because I just like 
the formula of this lip mask. This is just super hydrating. Okay, and yeah, their mascara. I don't want to wear mascara because I'm about to head to the gym. But this is what their mascara looks like. Super. I would try this out the next I do my makeup. I have a bunch of festivities this weekend. One of my friends is having her birthday weekend celebration, so it's gonna be a pretty fun weekend in Dallas, and I'm super excited. But I'm gonna save all of that content for next week's vlog. Okay, and let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and open this perfume too on camera, just so I can try it out, just to get like a first. I guess I'll just wear it to the gym and just see how well it holds up. And I will let you guys know how well it holds up when I get back. But honestly, when you mix anything with sweat, like I'm actually very curious because sweat is like, I just hate body odor so much. So I am such a perfume girl. Really. Like anything that, if you tell me that like, oh, this perfume lasts this number of hours, okay. Oh, sorry, I kind of just lost track of what I was saying. This number of hours, I will like buy it, literally. Okay, I love the packaging. Like it's like all black, pretty cute. Definitely something I can add to my collection. So it's a Louis Flora perfume. And this is their size, which is, oh, two fluid ounces. Wow, this is quite a lot. Okay, so let's try this out for the gym. Ooh, out the, of the bottle, I can literally, I feel like I smell the orange blossom the most. All right, I know my face looks weird. I'm just trying to understand what I smell. Let me go back to the notes. I do smell the sage. I smell the sage a lot. And I do get that woody, those central woods straight up of the bat. I don't really know what bergamot smells like, so I'm not, was it bergamot? I'm not really sure, so I'm not really sure what that would smell like. But I do smell the orange blossom and the sage and the woods. So far, I like it. I feel like this would be a good scent for like a night out. I don't know if I would wear this in the day. It's like very like, I could see why they were saying it's very masculine. It is leaning more on the, like a little more on the masculine and I'm not gonna lie. It definitely smells like a unisex perfume. So I can literally have BK wear this and it actually smells, what's it called? I don't know what I'm saying guys, <laughs> like please help me. I don't know why I always lose my touch. I was trying to say I can have big it wear this and like it would pass as a male perfume or a unisex perfume. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So I'll let you guys know um, how it goes up throughout the gym, obviously, when I get back. And yeah, I will see you guys later. It is already 6. 6 17, so let me get going. At least I may try to get to the gym by 6 30, you know. Do it. Nice 90 minute workout. I am not in my what's it called long gym workouts era anymore. Like please, I literally cannot come and kill myself. I just do what I can. And I keep it pushing. I went back to my rock solid fitness workouts. I don't know if you guys like. I mean, I probably have a lot of new followers. I used to do those a lot in Virginia. And I'm not. I think about it. When I used to live in Virginia. I wasn't even also in Virginia. Yeah. So you guys couldn't even know who that is. Rock Solid Fitness is an LA fitness trainer who trains um, a lot of the fitness influencers that you probably follow, like I'm Kayla Nicole, Joe Chavez, sorry, Joe Chavez. Um, I'm trying to think, I can't remember the other ones, but he has like a very, I feel like his like training style is focused on functional training as opposed to weight training, and that is why I love his work on I feel like weight training, the reason why I love working because I just hated it so much. Like it was such a like drag mentally on my brain. I literally had to like prep myself for hours if I had to go with training, especially on like day. I hated like day. like you just have to lift so heavy you want to see results. And I was like, yeah, this is just not my life. Like I'm a dainty, perky princess. Like please, um, where are they? Twelve to fifteen minutes. You know, like this thing like that. And that's what it was giving. So I realized that like. Probably the reason why I hated working out too is because I hated the type of workouts I was doing, which plays a major role in consistency. Like I feel like the one key to staying consistent and working out is you have to love what you're doing. I mean, I love it, but you cannot hate it because if you hate it, it's gonna be super easy for you to want to miss it. Like I have been consistent at the gym for like about six months, and I just gave up out of nowhere, and I don't even know what happened. 
happen but we are gonna get into that another day i'm gonna stop rambling and ranting i will see you guys later for my workout bye On the AR, how you did that? Check out lift up when you take off, how you did that? You put your cheeks up, all your blinkies, how you did that? Your LV back turned to a legit, how you did that? I seen that back turn to a Louis, how you did that? That look like a brand new booty, how you did that? You got face stones and over the white. Y'all, I am in my plant era. Welcome back to another day in my weekly vlog. It is Tuesday. Sorry, let me arrange this camera. It is Tuesday and as you can see, BK and I just got a whole new bunch of plants for the house. So that's what I was unboxing real quick. I'm also gonna film some furniture um, that we got. Y'all, you will not even believe it. Our dining table is arriving tomorrow. Like I am so excited. Oh God. So we're gonna have a dining table for the dining chairs now and like the house is actually coming together like i cannot believe it and our bar is getting delivered tomorrow too like y'all what is all of this like so finally the only big piece of furniture that's missing at this point is our couch and the bench and the coffee table um we are taking things one step at a time the living room is nowhere close to being done but we move you know we Move. But anyways, let me go change real quick because I want to wear a different outfit to film the other furniture that I'm going to be setting up just for like TikTok and Instagram. You know, I want to be like aesthetically pleasing with my outfits, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to go change and I will be right back. But yeah. Oh, and I'm also taking down my hair today. And I'm getting braids tomorrow again. I just feel like braids are just so easy. So... Yes, your girl is getting more braids. My new shape brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, they're like, it's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge my new shape brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better than yours, I can teach you, but I don't know.
than yours Damn right, it's better than yours I could teach you, but I have to charge my milkshake Brings all the boys to the yard And they're like, it's better than yours Damn right, it's better than yours I could teach you, but I have to charge You want me to taste me currently 6 p.m. and I am headed to my friend's house she's gonna help me take down my hair first we have to go to FedEx and drop off some packages real quick your body drive me crazy you didn't know love I used don't make it up to me Who's up? Bring my dudes up. The cool black and blue, yeah, it's boost up. Like, who's up? Break up your back, break up your back, break up, break up, break up. It is so annoying. I am my, I'm on my reggae playlist, yo. Anyways, I have to go to FedEx real quick before I head to my friend's place. So I want to just drop off some packages that I have to ship. Then, yeah, and also some returns. Y'all know we've been on our house shopping, so there has been a lot of things that I've just bought, and I need to like, oh my goodness, the house is full of so many boxes. I have to go through like I need to take a whole day and just go through all those boxes and figure out like what I'm returning. I already low key started figuring out though, but it's just like there's just a lot, honestly. Must be in love. Man, I hate driving in downtown Dallas. Woman, I will be here. Okay, y'all. I am headed to my friend's house. I'm gonna stop the music real quick. She's gonna take down my hair. So today is the last day in these braids. Y'all, I don't know how I feel. I love these braids so much. But I'm gonna let you guys guess what I'm getting. Honestly, it's gonna be a pretty hard one to guess. So just guess and let me know. But yeah, it's gonna be really cute though. Anyways, I have some packages to return at FedEx. So let me go do those real quick. You can see the boxes like literally sticking out even. Anyways, I'm gonna do that real quick, then I'm gonna head to her house. And just listen, play my position like a short star Pick up everything, mommy, hitting it in no time I, I better make this with him, I, I And that's for sure, cause I, I never been the type to Break up a heavy home, but it's something about baby girl I just can't get the soul Tell me, mom, what's it gonna be, she said You don't know what you mean to me
a lot and you looking, I never say a word I know how niggas start acting trippin' I heard about the girls No way, hey, now they gon' fight over no day Hey, best you can see, but I, I like your steeze, your style Your whole thing ain't in the way you come through and holler and swoop me in It's too sick, I got sex stuff And I got special ways to thank you Don't you forget it, but uh, it ain't that easy for you to back up and leave them, but uh When I got back and I tried to show you guys like how the hair looks and just talk to you guys real quick, um, my memory card for my camera died. So I literally had to go to Best Buy today and get a new memory card so I can just complete this week's vlog. But this is my hair that I got done yesterday. It looks so good. Like, y'all, it looks so good. Like, it is literally like butt length. Like, let me reduce the camera tight so I can show you guys. It's so long. Like, I love everything about this shop. I just love how they make me, I feel like they make me feel like a mermaid, like, whenever I get them done, because it just gives me, like, mermaid vibes, you know? And I got them done by Mila Hair. She's located in um, the DFW area in Dallas, Texas, and she does an amazing job. Like, my hair feels so light. I feel like that's why I've been loving getting the, this particular hairstyle done, because it's just been so, so, like, easy to manage. Um, I love how full she makes the curls. I personally request like excess curls because I really love the curly look. Like I feel like it's just like the perfect hairstyle. I mean, I know a lot of people love to wear this for vacation. I wore this to Mexico, and honestly, I'm not pretty so because I feel like this is just one of the best hairstyles that fit me. You know, so I love, love, love it. Um, so yeah, definitely check her out if you're looking for a Dallas braider. I just wanted to show you guys, and she parks like super neat too as you can see like her partings are so clean and guys the hair feels so light like i don't even think this hair weighs up to a pound like it's just so light like i don't feel like there's anything on my head believe it or not so she does a good job with like picking the mesh i said mesh in camera we call it braiding hair mesh so that's why it's like reflex almost but yeah she does a really good job of picking out the braiding hair and just like distributing it across your hair so exaggerating but yeah guys um this is this week's vlog i think i'm gonna end this week's vlog here i have a whole fun weekend planned um obviously this weekend so make sure you tune in for next week's vlog it's gonna be a really fun one it's another birthday weekend again i actually just came from her airbnb so her and a bunch of friends got an airbnb and they all flew in today so today's her actual birthday so we just all back from the airbnb we went to like wish her happy birthday and stuff like that but the festivities start tomorrow so i'm just gonna save that for next week's vlog but yeah i just wanted to thank you guys again for watching this week's video i hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe we are everything lifestyle beauty fashion travel over here and i'm definitely working on my consistency when it comes to youtube i really want to be showing up every week for you guys and yeah i have some fun videos planned i have a bunch of hauls i'm gonna post soon i have a shower routine i have a bunch of different things that I'm gonna like incorporate in these videos so make sure you stay tuned especially if you want to connect with me and just see what I'm up to and see what life looks like as a senior club engineer I try to walk you guys like through behind the scenes and this is like all new for me because I've never filmed or shot long-form content before so it is quite an adjustment and I'm realizing that I'm learning a lot as I go but we are here for the long run that's just what I want to let you guys know so yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to like and comment on this video and I will see you guys in next week's vlog bye